Are you sure this is it? Well, it's the right number, ain't it, from Dad on the phone? 25 bob. Cost you a gratuity to buy a round at these prices. Oi! Anybody about? Hello, Julie. Don! I don't believe it. Why didn't you tell me? I only flew in today, non stop from Karachi. Come on, Aunt Lips, leave a bit for me. Andy! Watch her, sis. How are you making out? All right? <laughs> well, you haven't changed a bit, either of you. You have. Uh, you're three years lovelier. Aye, aye. Making friends with the customers. Felix, this is Don Brady. Well, you don't say. Hello. You're my brother, Andy. Oh, my name's Felix Fenton. I'm an old friend of Julie's. Oh, you better pack up, pet. I'll get Joe to take over. Well, I think it's cause for a party, eh? Well, you better ask Don about them. What do you say, Don? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm easy. Say, can anyone do that? Yes, if you're the boss. Does he own the joint? He is the boss. Oh. What's your poison, John? You had this job, Julie. Two or three months. But what was wrong with the one you had before the war? This one is twice the pay and half the work. Where'd you meet him? Oh, Phoebe? Yes. Oh, Wef introduced me to the party. Oh. Is he all right? <laughs> yes, of course he is. This is the life, eh, Philly, sir, chum? Oh, you'd better finish this up, then. Tony! Give me another bottle, will you, Tony? Give me another good stuff. Certainly, Mr. Fenton. Hello. Oh, sorry. Enjoying you yourselves, those kids? Yes, thank you, Felix. It's grand. Don hasn't forgotten how to dance. You seem to have got quite a taste for champagne, Julie. Why didn't you used to like it? I never had enough money to find out. Come on, drink up. It's better than the army, isn't it? Oh, no, wouldn't you? Don, don't be sarcastic. Felix had a weak heart. Weak heart, my foot. Better not shame the girl for this lot, then. Silly. He owns the place. Oh, it's just a part of my business. What a business. You must be making out all right, Felix, old pal. Oh, not too bad, you know. Got the place cheap when the owner left under escort for the Isle of Man. And uh, the floor upstairs, I'm having fixed up as a smashing flat. <laughs> I know a geezer who will be a building license. Where are you boys living? With me, till they find work. Work? Sometimes called manual labor. You see a Spanish dancer? <laughs> 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 now, if we're kidding apart, I might be helping you boys find jobs. I want to see you both sitting pretty. Thanks, I'm not used to sitting. Don Felix is only trying to be helpful. Now, what do you say, Tosh? What? Oh, I, I, I expect I'll uh, string along with old Don. OK, OK. Forget it. Oh, come on, I'll give you kids a lift home. All right, here we are, boys. I'll put the kettle on. Felix, help yourself to a drink. All right, Julie, I'll get one. Can you tell us to sleep on the sofa, Don? You seem to know your way about here pretty well. I should do, I own the dump. Furnished flats don't go on trees in this town, you know. How do you manage to get them? Oh, it's easy. You've got to know a fellow who knows a fellow who knows a fellow. Such as you. Yes, it is me. Don, I want to talk to you. Yes, I've wanted to do things I'd like to talk to you about, too. Now, you kids carry on. I'll cut the drink. Bye-bye, Tosh. Bye. So long, Julie. No, it's all right. I know my way out. I'm a member soldier. I'm just a friend of the family. And don't you forget it, chum. Shh. You want to stop drinking before you reach column stage. Come on, Don. I'll show you the view. 